Hello everyone, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the 19th Excel two, uh, 2007 tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about drawing within Excel using using shapes, clip art, and, and smart art, and so forth. Uh, so I hope you're enjoying these so far and please subscribe uh, if you uh, would like to see more of these. So I'm going to jump right in here. I've just got a, bl a blank worksheet here and first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the insert um, tab and then under shapes I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, share with you just a couple you know, shapes that you can play with experiment with um, so there's several things here that you can do um, shapes from arrows to lines to um, you know lines with arrows on both ends arrows on one end there's freeform shapes so we'll go ahead and do um, we'll start off with a smiley face here right so you can click that now you've got a smiley face. You notice a little yellow dime in there. You can edit anything like that. So if you want to turn them into a frown, let's leave them happy for now though. You can resize the shape. Uh, another thing you can do, any shape that you bring in here, you can edit it and change it into a free form shape so you can do whatever you want to with it. So how you do that is you highlight the shape, click on drawing tools, and then right here you'll get this box here for edit shape. Click it and then choose convert to free form you notice nothing's changed here with it still highlighted you click on that edit shape button again and now you have an edit points option and now you notice I can I can do whatever I want to now with this shape I can move the eyes around I can I can change the shape of the whole of the head I can change I can drag I can do anything I want with it turn them into a Martian whatever I want so I'm going to go ahead and back those out. I just want to show you how to do that. All right. And then the next thing I want to show you is there's lots of other um, nice shapes in here. Like here's, here's a good example. Double arrow with these pointers. And I could put over here, I could put, uh, if I want to connect something on a, on a spreadsheet, I could say, you know, I connect them like that, and this doesn't line up, as you notice. So what I probably want to do is highlight it, and then and then I can just move it with my mouse a little bit here. Here's a good example of how of how flexible these um, shapes are. Okay, change them any way you want to, but you know, if you're trying to show connectivity between two two devices or two items, it's a good way to do it. Also, under shapes, is lots and lots of options, right? So you've got block arrows like if you want to show you know a going to B or whatever the case task one going to task two you know you can do that all right so it's it, lots of variety there another um, nice thing under shapes is if you do have to put some text into a spreadsheet to say you can use these callouts and these would be like pop-ups so I'm gonna go ahead and click that and and now let's say that you want to point it to something like over here you just drag your drag that with your mouse wherever you want to and then in here you can type in the box so I'm gonna say task 1 or task A completes prior to task B okay you can change the font in there you can expand this you know it's very very flexible so I'm gonna go ahead and put it like that okay now I can highlight that and I can I can edit this if I'd like to so I can go to let's see here shape actually right click it and say format shape and for example here you could go and you could say no fill right solid fill gradient fill or you could put a picture in there right or some other background so we're gonna say solid fill and then we could change the color to say yellow or whatever's appropriate right I'm gonna change it back to blue All right and there's lots of different options there's line color line style do you want a shadow on it, it you know whatever the you know you've got a wide variety of options there so some other things I want to show you I'm just gonna jump over to sheet two real quick is clip art so if you want to use clip art you can search over here you can type in a you know an item and search and you can go out and it'll go search on the web on Microsoft site and so forth but I'm just gonna say go 
and these are the default ones that that come up and let's see if we can just find that let's see here I think there's a there's a baseball player in here if I'm not mistaken so if you were running a sporting goods store or you know selling baseball supplies you know you might want to find uh, let's do uh, I thought I saw a baseball player here earlier. So let's do another sport here. Let's see. Let's put a soccer ball there. Okay. Then you can edit that, move it around. But you might want to use that on the top of your form when you're selling supplies or the top of all of your invoices. Um, so that's that's a nice way to use, um, uh, uh, you know, the uh, clip art. Another thing you can do is do insert smart art. Now smart art, I'm going to go ahead and move over to sheet 3 here. This is something that can come in really handy. Under smart art you have all sorts of things. There's uh, categories over here. You've got all, you've got list. So if you want to do a um, an organizational hierarchy or if you want to do a process, um, if you want to do a cycle like a life cycle. So let's do a life cycle real quick. So I'm going to choose block cycle and I'm gonna make this really basic so you can just click up here and you're gonna uh, let's pretend we're doing a program so we're gonna define the um, need right define project we'll say right and it'll change the size of the text for you and then over here we're gonna say we're gonna program and then we're gonna say we're gonna test it and then we're going to do um, implementation. And then we're going to go ahead and maintain it. Well, let's assume you had a sixth one here. What you can do over here, click this, right click here, right click at the end of maintain, hit return, and now you can do, I'm just going to call it extra box right now. But let's say you had a sixth item. That's how you had a sixth item in the in the in the um, process or you could delete a box don't feel you're locked into these so anything you can edit any of these it's very flexible and now another um, great thing that you can do here is I'm going to close this out I'm going to let's do a size and properties okay and actually I'm not going to do that I'm going to go to smart art tools and I'm going to change the layout. So what I want to do is instead of having this in a circular pattern, I'm going to go ahead and click more here. And then you see you can change it to any number of um, styles. But I'm going to click more layouts and I'm going to scroll down and let's try this is a nice one, right? So an upward arrow and you see what it does, right? Define project, program, test, implementation, maintain. That would make a nice graphic for you know a project that you're working on for your document that you've put together. Okay, and it's nice and visual, explained step by step. So that's really what I wanted to show you today. Actually, there's one more thing I forgot to share with you. In addition to the free form editing the shapes over here, under insert shapes, there's also free form items over here. Like here's free form right here. You just click it and you can draw whatever you want. Okay? And then um, then you can edit it or whatever. So obviously that's that's not much of a drawing, but I just want to give you an idea of all the things you can do with it. So that's all I wanted to share with you for tonight. I appreciate it and thanks for joining and please uh, subscribe. Take care.